Welcome back. Today I'm doing something that I did not think I'd be able to do in my 26 years of living so far. Today I'll be cooking a Michelin star meal. So you might be wondering what that is, or you might already know. Have you heard of a five star restaurant? Well, a Michelin star is even better. It's like top of the top of the top of the line. So I'll be cooking a Michelin star meal today and you guys are gonna witness it. So ingredients, what we're gonna need is some high-end, high-quality ingredients that I purchased at the bougie grocery store in my house. So we have a cup of water, and we have some imported goods from Japan. So we have here a poppin' cookin'. I've never made one of these. I used to watch Shane Dawson make these before he was canceled. I always wondered like what they were all about, what they tasted like, what they were. I didn't even, I was gonna buy it on Amazon for so much money and then I found them at a random Asian market. So we're making a Michelin star Japanese meal today. Oh my God. Um, we're making Tanoshi ramen with mango pudding, gyoza, dumpling, and um, that's about it. Wow. Wow, okay, let me show you guys what we're working with here. Oh my God, this is fancy. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with the instructions here. Whew, there's a lot going on here. Okay, so first we're gonna go through our ingredients. I figured I'd show you guys what I'm actually working with rather than my face. Um, so you're supposed to have a tray, a squeezing bag, a fork, a pick, five packets, one, two, three, four, five, and a cup. Ooh, fun. Make the mango pudding. Add water to the cup, oh, the cup, until it is half full. Add the powder from the orange packet. Mix, it will become firm in 10 minutes. Bitch, that's so cool. Okay, so we're gonna add the water until it's halfway full. Oh, God. Okay, is it halfway full? It looks it, because the bottom is narrower than the top. I'm gonna take a little bit out. So add. Oh, this is the noodle powder. Oh my God, I almost fucked up. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, it's just smelled the mango pudding powder and it actually smells pretty good. Um, just supposed to pour it, I guess. Oh my God, I'm nervous, I don't wanna fuck it up. Now we're gonna mix it. I'm gonna use the pick. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm going to. Oh, it's like a gelatin. Can you guys see it? Oh wow, interesting. It smells good. Oh my God. Mm, oh my God, that smells delicious. Okay, so that was the first step. It will become firm in 10 minutes. So we're gonna set this aside. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Next step. Make ramen toppings. Pour the water to the star line in the tray. Where's the star line? Oh, there's symbols in here. Okay, so this one's the star. So pour the water to the line. Add the powder from the blue packet. Mix until thick. This is the worst cup I could have chosen. Oh, perfect. Add the powder from the blue packet. Mix until thick. Tear off two pieces of the dough and fill the Naruto egg molds. Bitch. I guess it's gonna turn to dough pretty fast. Oh my God. I'm gonna use a fork to mix this one. I wish you guys could see a little better. Oh my God. It's like really thickums. Thickums. Okay, I need to put this down, but you guys get the point. Oh my God, it's legitimately a dough. This is what we're working with so far. It's legit dough. Tear off two pieces of the dough and fill up the Naruto egg molds. Okay, so there's Naruto egg molds inside here that we're gonna fill that dough up. So I'm gonna take a little piece. Oh my God, it's not even like sticky or anything. So I'm gonna take a little bit. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is like intense. Okay, so I'm putting it in the mold. Okay, cool. All right. 
I don't know if you can see the symbolism on there, but it's there. Okay, so that's the first one. Woohoo! Oh my god, it's an egg! It's a boiled egg. This is so cool. Okay. I'm going to divide the remaining dough in quarters. Okay. Three, four. Okay. <laughs> Spread one dough evenly to match shape and size. Place the dough in the gyoza mold and make the hollow space. Oh my god, there's a lot happening here. So now there's a gyoza mold, which is this one here. So it's saying to make the middle hollow. Oh, this is hard. I wish you guys could see. Fill space on each side with powder from the red packet. Close the mold and press the sides together to attach. Repeat. <laughs> it just fucking sprinkles. I want some minced pork. And then you fold it. And then you have a gyoza. Bitch, this is the messiest gyoza I've ever made. I'm gonna seal the edges with a fork. Yeah. By the way, if anyone's curious, this smells like candy. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I genuinely thought like these would be like mini <laughs> savory foods. Like I didn't think I'd actually be making ramen, but I definitely, I didn't know it was candy, you know? By the way, this is looking like um, jello now. Like nothing comes out, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of gyoza here and I know damn well I'm not eating this shit. So I'm gonna leave it at um, three gyoza. One of them's not sealing. Eh. Oh, I was only supposed to make two gyozas. Okay. So now I'm making a spring roll. So I have to mold this into a circle. See, this one's easy. I can't believe I just made dough. What? And then I put the sprinkles in. Oh, there's plastic in it. Mmm, yummy. And then I put the sprinkles in. The pork, the shrimp, the cabbage, the bean sprouts, and I roll it up into a nice little spring roll. Right there. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Now we're making the ramen, bitch. Okay, so number five, ramen. Pour water to the line in the musical note tray, the ramen bowl. And, okay, well, let's just do that first. Okay, pour the water to the line. Add the powder from the brown packet. Smells like soda into the ramen bowl. Okay. Ew. It looks like nothing. It just looks like soup. Mix. Pierce the corner of the squeezing bag with the pick. Fill the inside to the outside. Huh? Hold on. Okay. Add the powder from the yellow packet. Mix. Oh, okay. Now I have to pour water into the star tray. Oh my god, this water's spilling everywhere. I literally chose the worst cup. What I have to do is I have to add the water. Oh, I was supposed to cut the tray apart. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm adding, this is the noodles. It smells like nothing. And I'm adding that to the other tray. And it smells like 7-Up. Okay. So now I'm supposed to mix it. Pierce the corner of the squeezing bag with the pick from the inside to the outside. Fold down the top of the squeezing bag and put the yellow mixture in. Oh shit. Oh, I would, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Now we have faced the problem. So I think I have to separate it now. Okay. So I'm gonna just cut it. Oh, the way I was supposed to in the beginning. Oh my god, but now there's like liquids and shit in it. Ah! Okay, okay. I did that successfully. Okay, so now I'm supposed to fill the piping bag with this yellow mixture. Bro, is this for kids? Okay, so this is the piping bag. And... I'm supposed to do this. I don't fucking know, bro. Okay, so first of all, I'm supposed to put some of this yellow in the hollow part of the egg. 
So now we have an egg yolk. Bitch, that's so cool. Okay. What we're also supposed to do is we're supposed to squeeze this into like noodle-like shapes into the broth of the ramen. Let me show you guys. Okay, so let's just like... Okay. Can you see? Oops. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is um some top tier shit. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm supposed to put, turn the cup over and remove the mango pudding. So now we plate this shit, but they didn't give me a plate. Bitch, how am I supposed to make it look presentable? I'm gonna clean up and um, plate it all nice and you guys will see how beautiful my meal has come out. Oop, I'm so excited, okay. So are we supposed to eat this? The mango pudding, I have to, ooh, right. <gasps> okay, we're done, the Michelin star meal. Okay, so right there I have my gyoza. Mm, so delicious. Then we have the ramen, the spring roll, and the mango pudding. Wow. Okay, it's time for a taste test, my camera's dying. So we're gonna try ugh, everything. <laughs> My camera may die, so. Okay, we're gonna try the gyoza first because I took pride in the way that I created these, so. Um. Oh God, that's sweet. Oh, I really like the texture of the dough. It tastes bad though. Oh, that is some gross shit. Let's try the ramen. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. So delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try with the egg too. It tastes like flat Pepsi. Yum. <laughs> so good. Mmm, I love ramen. Let me try the mango pudding. I would not buy that, but it's kind of good. <laughs> oh, it's kind of good. It tastes like a mango, like a mango bubble tea, but like the, the boba in it. Like, I don't know, but it's kind of good. Mm, okay. <laughs> now I'll just try the spring roll just for the sake of trying it, even though it's gonna taste exactly the same as the fucking gyoza. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Oh my god, I love. I love spring rolls. They're so good. Oh. Mm. Wow. The experience of a Michelin star meal is something else. I hope that everyone out there gets to try it one day. It is just out of this world. And I just hope you all get to experience this one day. I will be opening a restaurant in the summer 2021, so keep an eye out. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and let me know what Michelin star meal you want to see me cook next because I really do be chefing it up in the kitchen and making some gourmet shit, okay? I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you.